Good evening, and welcome to tonight's presentation, From the Quarries, an archive of Masonic Law. In this video, I'll examine some of the more notable examples of Freemasonry on film. Make sure you stay to the end to test yourself in a challenging quiz of your film knowledge. It will come as no surprise to learn that a large number of Freemasons have played a role in the history of cinema. A very brief search reveals that the following film luminaries have all been active Masons. Cecil B. DeMille, Gene Autry, Bud Abbott, Mel Blanc, Ernest Borgnine, Eddie Cantor, Richard Dreyfus, Douglas Fairbanks, D. W. Griffiths, Louis B. Mayer, William Wyler, John Wayne, Peter Sellers, Roy Rogers, Richard Pryor, Pat Morita, Al Jolson, Oliver Hardy, Clark Gable, and Glenn Ford. The impact that masonry has had upon the works they produced is harder to quantify, however. A search of the Internet Movie Database shows that of the hundreds of thousands of films produced, only 97 movies have Freemasonry identified as a key plot element. These all tend to fall into four categories. Anti-Masonic propaganda diatribes, tongue-in-cheek comedies, action and adventure films, and secret conspiracies. Beyond these, though, there are countless films in which Masonic symbols appear. These are either apposite to the mood of the film, or are quick, blink-and-you'll-miss-them inclusions that are normally not noticed by the casual viewer. In such a controlled medium as cinema, these appear far too often for them to be accidental. Someone, somewhere in the cast or crew, has made a conscious decision to reference the craft in these movies. Nothing appears on screen that is not deliberately placed there. The quiz at the end of this video challenges you to identify some of these examples. First, though, let's have a look at six movies that typify the films that feature Freemasonry as a major plot element. Occult Forces, 1943 The film recounts the life of a young member of Parliament who joins the Freemasons in order to relaunch his career. He thus learns of how the Freemasons are conspiring with the Jews and the Anglo-American nations to encourage France into a war against Germany. This terrible film was commissioned in 1942 by a delegation of Nazi Germany's propaganda ministry within occupied France by the ex-Mason Mami. It virulently denounces Freemasonry, parliamentarianism and the Jews as part of Vichy's drive against them and seeks to prove a Jewish Masonic plot. Despite the obviously biased and overblown nature of this piece of Nazi misinformation, there are still many who would reject all Nazi movies, but will hold that this film reveals truths about the craft. Are You a Mason? 1915 and 1934. Are You a Mason? is a 1915 American silent comedy produced by Adolf Zucker and Charles Froman and distributed through Paramount Pictures. It starred John Barrymore as a young husband who pretends to join the Masons as an excuse to get out of the house. Perry goes out for several nights to carouse and have fun while telling his wife that he is undergoing initiation at the Masonic Lodge. When his wife invites her father, a grand master of the Masons, for a visit, Frank goes to comedic lengths to avoid being found out. 
the farce is magnified by the circumstance that his father-in-law has also been lying about his Masonic association. The film was so popular that it was remade for British audiences in 1934. The Man Who Would Be King, 1975 This adaptation of the famous short story by Rudyard Kipling tells the story of Daniel Dravot and Peachy Carnahan, two ex-soldiers in India when it was under British rule. They decide that the country is too small for them, so they head off to Kafiristan in order to become kings in their own right. Kipling himself is seen as a character that was there at the beginning and at the end of this glorious tale, which is redolent with Masonic associations. This is by far the most common genre, and plays on the trope that Freemasonry is the secret engine that drives world affairs. If only. National Treasure, 2004. Nicholas Cage plays Benjamin Franklin Gates, an historian and amateur cryptologist searching for a huge lost treasure of precious metals, jewellery, artworks, statues, and many other historic artefacts accumulated over time, becoming a massive stockpile. All of it was eventually hidden away by the American Freemasons during the American Revolutionary War. A coded, unseen map placed on the back of the Declaration of Independence points to the secret location of this national treasure. But Gates is not alone in his quest. Whoever can steal the Declaration, find the map and decode it first, will discover the greatest treasure ever accumulated in history. From Hell, 2001 From Hell is an American thriller. It is loosely based on a graphic novel about the Jack the Ripper murders. Johnny Depp plays Frederick Abilene, a detective who deduces that Freemasons' influence is present in the murders. His superior, a high-ranking Freemason himself, opposes Abilene's methods and suspends him from the case. The Freemasons try to eliminate Abilene without leaving any witnesses, but Abilene fights back and kills two of the assassins. The Freemason, 2013 A wealthy banker lies ritualistically and brutally murdered. The banker's daughter and only heir, Rana, calls upon Cyrus Rothwell, a brilliant but eccentric freelance writer, to assist in the investigation. Teaming up with veteran homicide detective Leon Weed, they suddenly find themselves thrust into the cryptic world of Freemasonry, pitted against a killer searching for a legendary relic shrouded by hundreds of years of myth and mystery. Having looked at a few films that feature Freemasonry prominently, what of those that contain only fleeting or incidental references? In line with the premise that nothing appears in a feature film that is not deliberately included, the following quiz will test your knowledge of 22 movies which feature Masonic imagery in some way. Some of these, particularly the animated features, are so deliberate that you must question the motives of the production crew.
For more Masonic podcasts, videos, music, texts and artwork, visit fromthequarries.com or subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter and Facebook accounts by searching From the Quarries.